Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Temi. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the African slash Nigerian food you should bring to the abroad. I'm kind of in the future right now, so if you have plans of coming to the United Kingdom, listen to everything I have to say in this video. I have all my food items laid out on the table. I'm also going to be showing you guys what you should bring in abundance, things you shouldn't bother bringing, and things you should not even bother at all about bringing. If that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you keep watching this video. Alright, so I'm going to start with my greens. I have them laid down here. I have them laid down here. Over here, I have suya pepper, ordinary pepper, pepper soup spice, ogono, egusi, camero pepper, crayfish here. And I was able to pack them in separate bags like this. So most of them are in separate bags, they're in like five different bags. And make sure you pack them in separate um, little more bags because you don't want to put all your crayfish in one bag or in, in one nylon. And then when you want to use your crayfish, you have you open that bag and you are dipping into it for a long time. Meanwhile, if you have if you have two types of crayfish like this, you can open this one, use this, and then when you are done with it, I'm looking for the one I'm using at the moment. This is the crayfish I'm using now. It is almost done. So you don't want to have to open a big nylon just because you want to use small crayfish. Always pack them in small nylon like this. But if it's a goosey or a bono that you are going to make in large quantity, you can pack them in large quantity. But for pepper, crayfish, pepper soup, spice, things like this, these are the ones I use, I'm using at the moment. Please pack them in small linings so they don't go stale. So this is this is my egusi. You can see they're in big linings. Whenever I open them, they're inside separate bags inside my zip lock. Whenever I open them like this, I'll either make half of it or all of it. So I didn't have to put it inside a smaller bag. I hope you get the whole idea. The next thing you should bring will be gari gari is not that expensive here gari is not that expensive here but if you can bring in abundance because the taste is definitely different this is a, the type of gari we buy here this is one of it just one of it and i can say for sure i've tasted this one i've tasted my own gari i brought and there's a huge difference so if you can't bring gari if you're ready to pay for your excess luggage <laughs> Bring your gari. Next on my list is ewaoloin. Bring ewaoloin. The beans here is good, but not as good as Nigerian beans. You can't compare it, okay? Bring ewaoloin. Provided you have like a family traveling with you and you have enough space, bring one and two derica. This is just two derica. And I haven't touched it at all because I'm mising it. I don't want to waste. I want to cook it on a special day. So, Bring a wallowing if you can bring a wallowing and bring one out to the Rika. Next item is you guess Indomie noodles. So if you are not like me, if you don't say me, I like Indomie. If you are like me or if you are not like me, it's not important. Indomie is not that expensive here, but I didn't know how much it was selling for. I just wanted to be on the safe side and brought one carton of noodles. And this is what I'll be eating some days where. You don't really have what to eat you don't want to drink gari or eat bread you cook indomie noodles but if it's something you can do without you don't have to bring it save that space and instead bring maybe a goosey or bono or bring a um, cameroon pepper don't bring noodles if you can do without it but if you have kids yes you can bring noodles then again it is not expensive it's about six for six for two pounds here or there about i haven't bought I haven't bought indomie here before but it's around that price so if you can do it without it you don't need to bring indomie the very and most important thing you should bring is no cube no seasoning cube and maggi cube bring them in abundance it's seven pound here hmm? i have one that is open that i'm using at the moment and is with sense i'm using it i'm not ready to buy knock you for seven pounds so if you do the conversion mm, of how much knock you is in lagos 
they now convert it to seven pounds so that's why it is important for you to bring no cube okay bring no cube bring them in abundance save that indomie space don't bring indomie bring no cube instead you hear me most importantly panla fish i don't know why eh i brought this little amount of fish i mean this is what i have left i've used one to make a goosey already bring plenty and it's very light as you can see it doesn't really weigh a lot i don't think this is up to one kg all this one that you're looking at i think it's up to one kg so bring in abundance this is just flesh so if you can buy head buy tail buy the whole fish bring it so this is what i have left with me it is do they sell panga here damola I don't, I don't think i've seen it here before <laughs> This fish, not dried fish. I don't think I've seen it here before. What I always see is smoked fish. I don't think I've seen panla before. So if you are someone that like you like to put this in your food, make sure you bring it and bring it in abundance as it is not even heavy at all. The next item or items you shouldn't shy away from is your milo and your milk. Mm -hmm. The milk that is here is in keg and it's like, um, I don't know, over diluted milk it's like milk that they pour too much water inside i don't like it many nigerians don't like it i don't take it if it's not powdered milk evaporated milk or condensed milk you hardly find who nigerians taking it so bring your milk bring your milo i had two milo before but i've exhausted one already because every morning you know you have the urge to take something hot either tea coffee or hot chocolate so i've exhausted one already this is one i have left and i'm kind of holding back from opening it because i know if i open it in the next two weeks it will finish so bring milo bring milk but if you are somebody that you know you can drink tea drink coffee black coffee you might not have to but if you have kids please bring it it's expensive here i think it goes for like three or four pounds here i'm not sure how much this small one is but it's relatively expensive here so it will be more profitable for you to bring it from nigeria over here as much as you can provided you won't exceed your luggage limits the next item i'm showing you guys now is smoked fish this is smoked catfish oh. this is smoked catfish and honestly i wish i brought more than this I don't know what I was doing now. I was thinking, oh, I'll be able to buy it. So let me just, you know, take some small item of catfish. Catfish here is expensive. I mean, this smoked type of catfish, it is expensive here. I haven't gotten it before and I really can't remember the price or how much they sell it. But it will do you many good to bring this in abundance if you like to make a lot of soup. And it is relatively light. It's not as heavy as maybe a gussi or a gari or beans. It's, it's very, very light. So you can bring this, a lot of it, and put it in your luggage. So I'm going to move to the things you should not bring. Hmm? Listen. All these items I'm going to mention, don't bring them. You don't see them in your luggage. Number one, rice. Don't bring rice. This is the rice we are eating here. And I can say for sure it is good, it's not sticky, and it's like normal rice in Nigeria. And if you even want to compare, this is like I think four pounds or five pounds. How much how much did Esosa get it? Like there about about four pounds. And now try and convert it if you want to start converting to Naira, it's almost the same price. So why would you pay extra luggage and buy expensive rice all the way down here when you can just buy the rice here and pay, you know, 500 naira extra? Mm -hmm. So number one item, don't bring rice. Number two item, palm oil. Don't bring palm oil. Some, some airline might even fine you for carrying palm oil because you will soil other people's load. So don't bring palm oil don't bring rice the next item you shouldn't bring plantain yam don't bring those i've gotten yam here i've gotten plantain here it's not it's not you know out of the pockets it's not that expensive i think it's three for two pound or so then yam is they weigh the yam so depending on the size of the yam 
you know that's how much you pay so you can get from like three pounds four pound five pound or even six pound for yam depending on the size and it's not small it's something that you can eat many days if you're just one person then plantain is about three for two pound next item you shouldn't bring is salt don't bring salt the salt in abundance here it's not expensive you can see salt to buy don't bring bread don't bring egg don't bring pots don't bring plates don't bring iru don't bring hard chicken i know there's a difference between salt chicken and hard chicken most of the chicken here mm, is the soft one the one we used to call broiler or agri chicken don't bother bringing chicken just ask for hard chicken the yeah, old layer the one we like eating in nigeria as for the hard chicken they'll give you that one it's here i've had it here and it tastes like the one in nigeria so don't bother freezing chicken and bringing it don't bring ogi there's ogi here there's ogi powder there's ogi the real ogi it is here also so please don't bring that another another item i remember is cooking oil please don't bring cooking oil don't bring butter don't bring um, what again so those two don't bring cooking oil don't bring butter this is about one pound fifteen here so it's not out of the pocket also you can comfortably buy cooking oil here this is finished now and you know we can always replace it so please don't bother bringing oil and for the price of palm oil i forgot to mention the price of palm oil this palm oil i, get, I think it goes for like one pound fifty or like two pound it's not expensive but sometimes because they are different brands this one now is praise african palm oil so depending on the brand it might taste different it's for you to now start experimenting the one you'll be buying till you find the one that has the best taste but this spray african palm oil that i'm using now this is to make a goosey before is doesn't have any you know um foul taste it tastes okay so please don't bring palm oil you can buy palm oil here don't bring palm oil don't bring granola oil that's about everything i remember now if i remember anything else i'll definitely leave them in the description box if it's your first time coming here do well to subscribe because i have given you vital information if you are moving to the uk this anytime this year you are very welcome take note of everything i mentioned see here if you don't bring anything at all the most important thing you should bring your grains egusi or gono your pepper your pepper soup spice crayfish all those things bring them in abundance and fish if you don't bring anything at all bring all those sauce you'll be okay your life will be very good eh, maybe maybe no no cooking cube you can bring that one also so thank you very much for coming to my channel to watch this video if you did like this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you want me to film any other ones make sure you mention them in the comment section down below like i mentioned earlier if it's your first time here just subscribe because you're going to click on another one I'll see you in the next one. Bye.